All right, guys, I've been using the, uh, the wonderful Caleb polish, <laughs> or I should say impeccable polish. That is the name he chose because his, his business in New Jersey is called impeccable. Is it impeccable image detailing or impeccable detailing? Either way, impeccable, impeccable is a part of his deal. And I'll tell you what, if you guys haven't seen his work, or his YouTube channel, you should check it out. Uh, Caleb Phipps is his name. He's also a, I believe, 17 year veteran of the United States Navy. So thank you, Caleb, for your service. We appreciate you, brother, keeping us safe over here in America. Now, let's move on to some results. Okay, so, you know, I like this uh, DeWalt. Uh, the five amp hour batteries are awesome. I have the eight amp, eight amp hour batteries and that I don't feel like they last any longer and um, these are way more easy to deal with. Um, I'm using the uh, orange Eurofoam Buff and Shine pad with the impeccable polish and look, do you see those light swirls and the vertical well the the horizontal lines here so they're up and down to you but to me they're laying this way so horizontal lines to me up and down you can see all the haze but look where i polished super clear now you're looking at ppf paint protective film i polished the ppf it's not absolutely perfect, but it never is, and it always mutes what the paint looks like. So if you're looking at if you're looking for the absolute best looks, PPF is not your bag. Um, but my point is, the polish enhanced the gloss on the paint protective film, and it removed all of the micro marring that was all over it. You can see just all right. So that's a little bit of polish. Let me just. Wipe that off. I'm slipping and sliding on the floor, guys. All right, so we'll wipe that. So if we look where that light is, the light there is right there. So if we look where that light is and we run that light back and forth over that line, you'll see crazy clarity, but look, it's not so clear on that side. And that's what we're trying to get rid of. I wanna just clear it up. I'm not trying to remove scratches or whatever. I'm trying to enhance the gloss. I'm trying to clear up the paint protective film so it looks right. And that's what we've got going on. So that's what I'm doing on the car. I had to, I have had to clay bar and clay bar and clay bar this vehicle. Uh, oh, one thing, I looked up front and noticed the car was there. He asked us to wash it and I said it was a Datsun. Then I walked over there. It's a Ford Daytona. These are amazing cars. Look at that thing. So I'll be just cleaning that thing up. It doesn't have any windows. So we're gonna just give it a wash, clean it up and wipe down the interior. Nothing fancy, it doesn't really need a lot. Plus it's for sale. So if you want this car, you can buy it. Call that number. Uh, so anyway, it's just got a little bit of this and that all over it. So it, it's nasty raining today. So anyway, this car is badass. So we're, we're not polishing it or anything. We're just gonna get it cleaned up. But uh, we got this Scudera here. Uh, we gotta get all I gotta get all this stupid wax out of the PPF. And uh, Tony's over here working on the uh, Ferrari California and I'm working on the Berlinetta. So uh, I already completed the GT2 over there. And that thing, look at that thing. Look at that thing, goodness. Got all kinds of excited. All right, so you see the results from the Caleb Polish, AKA Impeccable Polish. Uh, I'm gonna proceed because that stuff works awesome. All right, real quick guys, once your pad is primed, all you need, I'm literally going to use these two pea-sized drops of, of the uh, impeccable Caleb polish. I'm gonna use that to do this whole side of the hood. Now this is just a final polish kind of deal. I'm not cutting, not trying to remove defects. I just want this nasty haze to go away. And uh, I'm gonna use two pea-sized dots just like this. 
There is no need for more polish than that when you're using any of my water-based polishes, which it's all of them but the marine polish, polishes and uh, also I, the marine finishing polish is now uh, water-based as well. But if you're using more than that for a section, you're overusing it. And if you over, if you do more than two to three section, two to three passes for a complete section pass, uh, you are working it too hard. So just keep that in mind. Should only take me, I don't know, an ounce, uh, three quarters to one ounce of polish to do this entire car. My products are incredibly concentrated. Period. So there you go, two piece size drops, five and a half inch pad, get her done. All right, so I showed you guys on that big half a hood that I would use two, bots, two dots of polish about the size of a pea. For these fenders, you only need one dot once the pad is primed. If you're using more than one dot for a panel the size of the fender, you're overusing my polishes. Just wanted to let you guys know what's going on being thrifty with the gifty. All right, guys. The Caleb Polish, a.k.a. Impeccable Polish. Oh, oh, guys, gals, all of you, everyone, it's amazing. All right, you see how clear and nice that paint protective film is now? Boom. Impeccable polish. I don't know where this polish is going to go, but it's, uh, it is a, basically it's a one polish that you can cut and finish with. And that's what it's for. So this is a uh, F12 Berlinetta with custom one-off wheels and they're badass. Man, those wheels are super nice. I was just talking to the owner Telling him that, you know, I've seen many cars, you know, that he's done up over the years and, you know, put his own personal touches on. And I'm really a fan of just the the touches that he puts on. You know, those those wheels are over the top bad ass. But what I like about this car is if you look at it, you can tell that it's special. You can tell that. It's got some custom touches to it, but it's not overdone. That's what I love about what this guy does. He really does a great job putting putting custom touch, touches on special cars without making them look overdone. <clears throat> All right, so another thing is, upon further inspection, this is actually a vinyl wrapped roof. roof. Ugh, roof. It's a vinyl wrapped roof, so this is all vinyl. You can see those nasty scratches. I attempted to make them look better, but the problem is you've already got a little bit of delam happening right there, delamination from the paint, but also this edge right here, the more you work on that with a polisher, the more potential for the polisher to pull up this uh, edge right here. And I'm not in the business to have to pay to fix things that I damage. I'm in the business to know what I should and shouldn't do. And so that's where we're at. So this F12 Berlinetta is done and looking stupid great. Man, I love this car. I really just dig the tricolor uh, brake calipers, the wheels, and then how he has the tricolor uh, badging everywhere. Uh, so there was a, um, a little badge right there where you see that nastiness. I'll show you the badge in a second. Um, I did not rub on that. I guess they rubbed on it to prep it before they stuck it on. This is like super glue. It's super hard. And again, it's on vinyl. So I'm not, I tried to get some of it off. I don't believe I can successfully get the rest of that, whatever that is, uh, off without damaging the vinyl. So guess what? I did the best I could. I feel like when he gets the new one in and the double-sided tape or whatever's on there, I believe that he'll be able to stick it right on there. You'll never know that's under there and that's exactly what should happen. Unless he wanted to remove the vinyl and then have it redone after 
that was reapplied, which uh, that's a waste too. So anyway, that's the only thing that looks a little funny, but it looks funny because, well, I can't do anything else with it uh, beyond damage it, and that's not what we do. So I love the little subtle Italian colors. I love the body kit, it's all carbon, pretty awesome. But there you go, Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, and then it's a Porsche GT2. Um, I used Universal All-in-One on the Porsche, Porsche, and I used the uh, Caleb Polish, AKA Impeccable Polish on this Ferrari. And let me tell you, it finished awesome. And you, well, I mean, I don't need to tell you that, you can see it. I used the 2022 version of Universal Dressing diluted 50-50 on the tires, 50-50 uh, with tap water. I wiped it on. I sprayed. I got the lovely Tony over here applying some uh, of the same stuff to these tires. So we apply it with a foam applicator. We just wipe it on and it dries. No sling ever and looks really nice as you can see. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been a pretty awesome detail. Uh, I love detailing supercars for sure. I don't just detail boats like a lot of you guys have been saying. I still have lots of clients with super nice stuff and I still actively pursue auto boat, RV, motorcycle. If it's got a steering device, I'm on it. So I detail everything, but I feel like my passion is, you know, if I had to choose one of the areas I detail in, my passion is in the marine industry. That's for sure. As anybody who knows me could tell you that, but I'm still also a car guy. So it is what it is. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up and we'll jump on the next video, which will be on the uh, Ferrari California, which is almost done. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble. Um, Wait for this stuff to come. It's awesome. Uh, and uh, if you know Caleb Phipps, uh, go check out his YouTube channel and check out what he's doing because he does great work. He's up in the New Jersey area. And uh, if I can help you with your detailing endeavors, 813-846-4406. And check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I got going on. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of this video. Have a great day, guys.